Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a battery case, a 6,000 milliamp battery case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now this is by a company called Runzy, R-U-N-S-Y, and they say it'll give you an additional 110% battery life on just the charge on the case alone, it'll give you 14 continuous hours of talk time, 8 continuous hours of gaming, and 56 continuous hours of streaming music. So the case itself, if you want to read over the back there, you can pause this. It is pretty, pretty heavy case. Inside we've got a little user's manual, instructions and um, whatever that is. Looks just like pretty much any other battery case. You can see how big it is. It is built up quite a bit around the camera bump there. Got our power button right here. One click on, one click off for your rocker or mute switch volume up and down buttons, and your power button here on the side. Now it does take eight hours to charge this case, and it does charge with lightning, which is nice. So here you can see how much thicker the case is than the actual phone. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that down in there and line that lightning port up. Pop it in, very easy to get in, not as easy to get out, I will say. Adds a tremendous amount of weight to this. Um, I use this for about two weeks, and I will say I like that it's got this soft matte finish to it. It would be cool if it came in other colors, only comes in black. But it does have a built-in short circuit and overcharge protection. It's pretty durable, and as you can see right here in the corners, it's built up pretty thick but it does not have any screen protection on this thing. It is flush with the screen, so you do want to make sure you have a screen protector on it. But everything is completely accessible. Charge port, again, charges with lightning, which is pretty solid. Then to start charging this, you just hit that button on the back there. And now we are charging does have the indicator here on the back, so 25, 50, 75, and 100% charge. Last Monday, I started using this. I left the house at 8.45 a.m. My phone was at 100%. The case was at 100%. And if I didn't mention this, it does take eight hours to charge this case. But Monday morning, 8.45 a.m., I left. I did not charge this once, didn't plug it in in the Jeep. Didn't lay it on a wireless charger. Obviously, this wouldn't work with a wireless charger. So, no plugging it in at all. When it got down to about 1% or 2%, charged it up with this. Once it was fully charged, turned it off. Kept going. This lasted me until Thursday at around 11 a.m. So, Monday at 8.45 to Thursday at 11 just over three days, full case, full battery, solid. Especially if you're going out and you're traveling, doing anything like that where you can't charge your phone regularly, this case would be awesome. But again, on that traveling part, this thing is freaking heavy. I've used the Apple cases in the past. I do not like the silicone feel that they have, but I like the slim form factor of them. So that is a plus for Apple. But those things are like a hundred bucks. And Mophie's, or $50 plus. I don't even know what they run anymore. I used to sell them at my old job, but they would go up to $100, sometimes $120. But this thing is $35 on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below if you would like to check it out. I think it's a fairly solid case. With It does have some flaws. Um, it's very, very heavy. Probably, aside from the Mophie case, this is probably one of the heaviest battery cases I've ever had. It doesn't help that it is one of the plus size phones. And there is no screen protection. I don't think it would have really cost or added any price increase to just put a little more of a lip around that screen there. Because some people don't like using screen protectors. 
but laying this thing down, screen down, not the best idea. Um, the matte finish does show a lot of fingerprints, and it does show some wear and tear, easy to scratch. But for 35 bucks and the battery life that it gives you, it's pretty freaking solid. One other thing I don't like about it, it is hard as hell to get out of here. Easiest way to do it is push right below the camera lens. That side comes out, and then pull it straight out. One thing I really, really like about Apple's case is that right up through here, it's pretty flexible. So you can pop it out, slide the phone straight out. This one, I'm not saying that it will, but you're pulling at an angle, it feels like. So be careful with this bending or breaking off. But for the price, $35, solid, and I dig it. It's well worth the price. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you would like to check this out, or you can check out uh, the 11 if you have a, a, a 11 Pro, whatever, or 10s Max. I think they've got them for all of them, and they've probably got them for some Androids too if you're just out there searching for a Runzy battery case. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, share it, subscribe. If you haven't already, I'd truly appreciate it. Dislike the video if you want to dislike it. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.